Hi Taurus, welcome to July 2017. Venus, your ruling planet, is on the move in July. She enters Gemini on the 4th. And then she enters Cancer on the 25th. So this could be a very busy month for you where you have a lot going on and you want to make changes. Now, there is an intense Mars-Pluto opposition that goes exact on July 2nd and is activated during the Capricorn full moon on July 8th and 9th. Capricorn is your sister sign and the Sun is in Cancer with Mars in Cancer and that's sextiles Taurus. So for you it's not a negative energy. For you it's an energy that is supportive, uplifting, and expansive. Capricorn brings the action to your spirituality, your philosophy, your truth, your understanding and wisdom. It rules that area of higher consciousness, uh, going to college, getting higher degrees, long distance travel, foreigners, and cancer is the conscious awareness. It's your knowingness based on life experience and these areas are being activated by uh, Jupiter in the area of work, health, lifestyle in Libra. And so this is going to be an intense full moon. And for you, you could be having epiphanies at this time where you're coming to this new understanding about your life path, about your soul, about your spirituality, about what you want out of life. And you could even be, you know, making changes in this area. Full moons bring things to completion. So there could be a legal matter for some of you that gets completed at this time. There could be um, uh, an awareness for some of you about what you're doing in your life, an understanding, you know, where the light bulbs go off and it's like, oh, now I understand. Now I know. And it can also be where you are wanting to make changes. So you may want to move or renovate your house. It's, it's this feeling of, I, I want to overhaul my life. I want to make deep changes and it's at the core for you. And so it's a supportive energy because Capricorn does trine you and Cancer sextiles, which is harmonious. But it's a very intense energy, which is going to be bringing up things for everybody. And it is about looking at, you know, maybe the city you live in or where you live. Uh, for some of you, it could be about travel. Maybe for some of you, you've been traveling too much, um, you know, or there's very a big significance around travel for some of you, an important trip you need to make for work, um, and so on. So you have that on your mind. You have a lot on your mind. You're thinking about things. You're really thinking about things these first few weeks, and you're also looking at what you love and value. With Venus and Gemini, you are looking at, you know, your self-worth and self-appreciation. And maybe you're, you know, really looking at, well, who is appreciating me? You know, who is not appreciating me? Who is really have my back? And you're, you're going to be evaluating that you know, at this time, during this, this time period and this cycle. And the Sun will exactly T-square Jupiter and Pluto, the 5th through the 9th, 
And so there could be something going on, you know, with communication, with uh, work and um, travel and anything that you're doing in regards to education or teaching or traveling or speaking, writing, the communication area. Uh, there could be some, you know, intensity. Uh, there could be some power struggles that come up and, you know, is, is things need to be addressed. Full moons bring things to a head where we, we can't just, you know, ignore. We have to uh, make a decision. We, we are compelled to make a decision. We're compelled to do something. We're compelled to take an action. And so I'm seeing you in here these first couple of weeks where you're really looking at, you know, your life, your life path, your work, your lifestyle, who you're living with, how you're doing things, and for some of you, you may be compelled to make some changes here, where you're either, you're moving, you're moving out of a situation, you're moving, uh, or it could also be like how you communicate. Maybe, you know, for some of you, um, you're, you're going to change the social media uh, tools that you've been using. And you're, you're looking at that too, how you can change uh, certain levels of exposure that you have out there. And, and maybe for some of you, there's a vulnerability there that is brought to your attention uh, in regards to social media and what's being generated out there and what's truth and what is not um, is brought to your attention. Like, oh my gosh, you know, talk about fake news. This is like a whole fake story here. And um, I'm not getting caught up in that. I am not <laughs> even going to comment on it. I am going to move into a new uh, pathway that is right for me because you've got that Venus, you're ruling planet in that area of what do I want? What matters to me? What's true for me? What do I place value on? And that's important for you to do. And then on the 20th, Mars enters Leo and the Sun enters Leo on the 22nd and the Leo new moon is on the 23rd. And we have a whole lot of Leo going on. We have the Sun, the Moon, Mars is in Leo, the North Node is in Leo, Mercury is in Leo, and Leo for you is your foundation. Taurus is king of the castle. So you have Leo on the area of the fourth house, which is about being the king of your castle. And so this is a lovely new moon. It's the first Leo new moon right here at the beginning of Leo. There will be another Leo new moon on August 21st, which will be a total solar eclipse. And so for some of you, you're moving, or maybe you've just moved, and uh, you're settling into the new place. There's movement here for you. And you know it has to do also with the career, and I'll talk about that in August when you have your Aquarius full moon in that area of what you do in the world. But there's changes here and it's good because you're ready. Like you're feeling in July, I want to overhaul my life. I want to overhaul, you know, me. You know, I want to make some core changes with me. I want to make some core changes in my home. So for some of you, you're going to be throwing yourself into projects in the house, you know, maybe you're building an addition, maybe you're, uh, you know, putting in a swimming pool or, you know, there's this renovation going on here in the castle. And your castle, even if you live in, you know, a one bedroom apartment, it's your castle, it's your space, and it's sacred. And so this is an interesting dynamic for you. Now, again, when we're in Capricorn and Cancer, it's very harmonious for you. These energies support you. So you're being uplifted, but it's also a rocky time because of the, the Mars, Pluto, and then the Sun, uh, Pluto, Jupiter, 
uh, T-square going on that is going to, you know, tip the balance with some people. We'll see it in the world where we're going to see some, you know, we may see some Terra acts, uh, you know, with Mars and Pluto, you know, it, it can come in at the um, end of June and the first part of July or uh, right around this full moon, it can happen, um, you know, and, and so, you know, we will see some chaos going on here. And it's not about you. This energy is very supportive for you. Capricorn is your sister sign. And so, it, you know, it is a supportive energy for you. Um, you know, things have to outplay in the world. And, you know, and that's another reason why, too, like you want, you want your home to be uh, comfortable and beautiful and valuable. And so, you know, you're, you're putting your energy in this area and, uh, you know, is, is the economy is a home-based economy now uh, that, you know, we, we don't go out as much as we used to, that we are uh, spending more time at home. And so you're going to be into that this month. And especially as the month moves on, third week on and well into August, you're going to be feeling that. Like, I really want to amp it up at home and make my home comfortable and cozy and just where I can be happy and tune out the chaos with other people or the chaos with the world. You know, how do we thrive in chaos? And I think it comes down to this, the, the foundation. And, you know, the home represents the outer self as well as the inner self. Like the home represents, you know, the home and the inner self, you know, work together. And so when we work on our outer home, we're working on our inner home, which is our inner being, which is great. And so you're wanting to overhaul here. You're wanting to make some deep changes uh, within yourself as well as the home and it's good because it's an upgrade you're upgrading you and you're upgrading your home and that is making a stronger foundation for you the stronger the foundation the stronger you are in the world the stronger you are within self the more you can achieve in the world and so by taking care of you and being strong with you, you can achieve great things in the world. And that is what it's about, is building that strong foundation so that you are achieving great things in the world. And it is a good time for you to invest in real estate as well, you know, with all of this energy here. So for those of you that want to, uh, you know, invest in real estate, uh, this is a good time to do it. You know, we have this grand fire trying going on with Saturn and Sagittarius, Uranus and Aries and the North Node in Leo. And that is in the area of real estate as well as banking. Uh, you know, so you could find that you are very successful at acquiring property getting great loans for the property. Uh, maybe for some of you, you're doing that flipping where you buy it, renovate it, and then sell it. It's a great energy for that. This is a great energy for renovation, right? Also, self-renovation. What can I do to improve myself? What can I do to improve what I'm doing? What can I do to improve my position in the world, my strength in the world. And then, you know, Venus moves into Cancer right there on the 25th. And, you know, this is about communication and, you know, being busy in, in the neighborhood, being busy in the community, being busy on more of a uh, local level rather than the um, 
long distance level that you may have been you know involved in first few weeks of uh, July by you know July 20th on and well into August you're really focused at home you're focused on your local area and you know what's going on in the local community family personal life that is you know a big area for you that is uh, being activated here now for those of you open for love you know anything is you know possible Venus is on the move you know you may be you know very flirty here uh, you know for most of July and maybe for some of you you're dating more than one person you may find that too that you you're interested in more than one person but then once she moves into cancer you'll probably choose you know find that there's there's one that you're you're more uh, attracted to or resonate with and uh, interesting so um, for those of you coupled you're really working on the relationship you're working on your home together you're working on building together and overhauling together um, whatever you share together home family children business whatever you share together you're working on the uh, transformation of that the overhauling and renovating and it's good and it's exciting it's a lot of positive energy in here to do that and you can find that it can be very lucrative for you as well where you invest in yourself you invest in your home and the payoff the equity that's built in self and property tenfold tenfold with this Leo energy very positive and dynamic money looks great you have Venus in that area so money is going to increase for you here in July and that's always good news so money looks good for Taurus here in July money manifestation I'm not seeing a lot in the career right now that's gonna really get big here in August here in July it's more about what's going on with you what's going on at home what's going on with your investments your real estate investments uh, business investments personal investments as well as long-distance travel anything legal anything going on in the school area or teaching publishing that's another big area for you you know maybe for some of you you're getting published this month maybe that's it you're launching your your publication uh, your book your website your podcast your YouTube channel around the full moon uh, there's there's a big focus there going on at the time of um, the cycle of cancer uh, first few weeks of July and the uh, Capricorn full moon spiritually you're growing you're expanding you may be experiencing a, a new philosophy you may notice that you have this new philosophy or new approach that you're seeing things different that you are um, you know really tuning into your own inner guru your own inner wisdom and it's working and it's working for you and that could be you know another reason why you want to make these changes you know you want to renovate you want to make changes within yourself and where you live because you're dialing into the bigger picture of who you are why you're here and where you're going Jupiter's in that area of health and so the health is improving and getting better if you're taking care of yourself and you're eating well and exercising and all that wonderful good uh, soul food you're giving yourself through um, positive affirmation and you know staying out of the worry and the negative thinking focusing on what's working focusing on the good in your life 
staying positive, that makes the health better, right? Because it's all connected. The spiritual, the mental, the emotional, the physical, it's all connected. And so the more we feed the positive to ourselves, the better we feel, the stronger we are. But it looks good. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my videos. Taurus, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below in the show more section. It's also up in the cards. And you go to my astrology page. You purchase a session. Upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule. And we're working together. So until next time, Taurus, be open to changing you, changing where you live, changing you know, the wonderful energy that's here for you that is all about this new awareness and philosophy and approach to your life. It's positive.